How many of you guys have heard the term imposter syndrome? Some of you. And have any of you heard the term stereotype threat? Okay. Yeah, a couple of you. So let me define the terms and then um, give you a little context. So imposter syndrome is when you have a job and you know that it's not possible that you should be in that job and you can't believe that everybody else hasn't figured that out yet, right? Uh, and so that's called imposter syndrome. And stereotype threat, a little bit different, that's when you are in a category, typically um, maybe a minority category, and that uh, you, you feel that you have to represent because you don't want to create or confirm any stereotypes. Right. So uh, I never heard of these things, by the way, until last year, which is unfortunate because I've already finished my corporate career and am pivoting more towards um, board work and nonprofit and, and more uh, public service type work. Um, but it's really important to really understand these for the following reason. I would often find myself um, highly anxious. And I thought there was something wrong with me. I'm not talking about moderately anxious. I'm talking about highly anxious. Uh, sometimes so highly anxious it would mute my voice because I was trying to control my anxiety. Uh, now I look back and I think a lot of my anxiety probably had to do with stereotype threat. And I'll tell you, the kind of person that I am is that once I identify, oh, this is a normal thing, it's a condition, it's a circumstance, I can walk away from it and it doesn't bother me anymore. So uh, when I learned about stereotype anxiety, I had um, taken a fellowship at Harvard last year, and my professor who lectured on it went up to him afterwards and I said, Ron, you're talking about me. I didn't know anything about this. I wish I had known because I would have handled it a lot differently. And he's, he's, he's such a genius. He goes, how did you not know about this? But we'll put that aside. Because a lot of you didn't know about it, so I feel better, right? Um, look, I mean, I'd be in circumstances like the following. When I first took my global job, we had uh, sales, sale, kickoff sales rallies. Uh, in the Americas, we had 7,000 people in our, in our uh, opening. Uh, so, okay, 7,000 people, that's a lot of people. I think you'd agree. Uh, the San Diego Theater is bright, not dark. So a lot of times if you're in front of thousands of people, you can't see beyond the first two rows because of the lighting. Not there. You could see all 7,000 people. I was the only woman in the program. The program went on all day like 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock. I was the only woman in the program. I was the only minority in the program. I was the only techn technology executive in the program. 50% of the people in the room needed me to perform on their behalf. Right? That's stereotype anxiety because when I walked onto the stage, I knew that three and a half to 4,000 people needed me to be great on that stage on their behalf, not just what I put on myself, which is bad enough, but what others needed of me. Look, I, you step up to the challenge and you do it, and I nailed it. I nailed it that day. Great coaches. I learned how to do large stage public speaking. I was focused. I didn't trip when the Cirque du Soleil act that way had to be part of the preamble, run out on the stage in a cape and not trip, right? right? I didn't trip, even though the guy threatened me. I can't even say what he said to me when he turned around, and, he, and then we ran on the stage. Um, but you, you do it. Now, had I known that there was a level of that anxiety that was more situational than personal, same with you know imposter syndrome, and all of you will suffer from imposter syndrome because you'll get into new jobs, you'll be over your head, you'll be anxious. But just go back to these things and say, is it me or is it the situation? And if it's the situation, am I amplifying it unnecessarily? Or, yeah, maybe it is amplified, but 
I'm not the only one who goes through this, and I actually can get through it and do well. So because I never learned that until it was post-corporate career, I, I felt when I spoke with Kate that I particularly wanted to share that with you.